Hey everybody, it's Saskia Sketches and today I'm going to walk you through the process of how I created my tiny avatar that's animated in the corner. Check it out, it's new. I'm actually revamping my whole like channel thing. Uh, <laughs> I mean my intro and my outro and my banner, my profile picture, my thumbnail and all that stuff. Um, but I'm putting a lot more time into those because I am painting all of those digitally. So this I did digitally as well, but I wasn't painting the whole thing, right? And just doing some flats and line art, which takes a whole lot less time than uh, doing a full fledged digital painting. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm uh, working on here. I uh, forgot to record the sketching process, so I'm sorry about that. But here I am just, you know, doing the line work for it and this is actually my first time drawing something in Photoshop because uh, I have um, a like Adobe Creative Cloud license uh, for school so uh, you know trying to uh, get to know the program and stuff because uh, you know that, that sounds like fun uh, and might as well right because uh, Krita has a really cool uh, animation um, feature as well but you can't export the actual animation so uh, the way that I might, might do that is just export the frames and animate it in Photoshop uh, but yeah uh, this time I decided to just you know do it in Photoshop because why not seemed like fun right so uh, yeah I uh, um, wanted something uh, more of my uh, anime style because uh, with the new stuff that I'm making, it's all like digital painting and more realistic and stuff. And uh, I I do still really love anime, so I kind of wanted to represent that a bit in my videos as well. So uh, that's what this is, and I really really enjoy how it came out actually. So I, I just love the, the sketch and the line art. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the line art because I wasn't really getting a good brush for it because. Uh, I had to like play around with the settings a little bit and uh, I, I did it uh, twice but I really like how this came out so uh, yeah I'm, I'm not mad at it and I really actually really like the brushes in Photoshop uh, they they work super nicely so that's really cool um, yeah so uh, after that bit of uh, tweaking with the brushes and stuff I uh, got the line art finished I actually really like the brush that I used much more than the brush that I use in Krita normally for line art because it's just got the slightest taper uh, and my Krita brush doesn't have that, it just has that round end so that makes it look uh, a little bit strange sometimes the line art but I really like how this one came out. Uh, and then it was onto the colouring. I uh, decided I just wanted to do some flat colouring because uh, yeah, if I would, I, I could have done some shading, and I might do that in the future actually, if because uh, I really like how this one came out, uh, and if I have a little bit more time to like actually animate um, something, you know, with a high frame rate or uh, I don't know, I really like uh, how it came out, and I, I think it's uh, it works for now, right? So I might change it later, but I uh, I like it, and it doesn't have to be super super well animated either because otherwise it can just distract from the video uh but yeah i just i like that it's that it's there and that, that it moves a bit and that it's uh, you know it's actually super cute so I, I really like how it came out um yeah so I, I just wanted to do some flat coloring and i really like the color that i used for rooks um i uh, uh yeah i just really love that blue i um sometimes i i change the color that i use for rooks uh, and I, I use something that's a bit lighter or something that's a bit darker. It kind of depends on what kind of piece that I'm going for. But uh, yeah, this time, this this one I really like. <laughs> I also had a little bit of trouble picking a good hair color and skin color because usually, because I'm pretty freaking pale, uh, it's it, and, I, and my hair is quite light also, so it's it's difficult to get enough contrast between those while still having them look okay if that makes sense but I do think I like uh, the the colors that I ended up going with it looks a bit I don't know it's a bit simple uh, but that's because of because it doesn't have any shading I guess but I really like how, how it came out in the end 
Um, I normally, when I color uh, Krita, I uh, use like the selection tool and I just select the line art and then fill in the, uh, the color. Um, but uh, just the selection tool in Photoshop, I didn't really like it all that much because it, um, yeah, I just did it this way and then expanded the selection. But I don't like it as much because it, uh, it, the select, it doesn't really select properly. Uh, maybe that's because I uh, it, this is a drawing and not a uh, you know, photograph and uh, it's actually not a drawing program but yeah um, I really like uh, this method of, of colouring as well. It worked It worked well. I'm not sure that uh, I like it or I prefer it more than the other method. It's just uh, it's a little bit slower I guess but uh, I still you know get decent results with it so that's fine uh, and you're gonna figure out different methods for uh, uh, like coloring and stuff when you're using different programs right it's like some uh, some are mm, some things work in one program and some things won't work in that program so yeah it's fine it's okay <laughs> uh, I had trouble with the shortcuts as well because I'm so used to the critter keyboard shortcuts that um, I had trouble like um, reprogramming my uh, my brain to uh, to the Photoshop, Photoshop shortcuts, but I think I managed. The rotate tool with R is really annoying because usually in, in Krita it's like Control Spacebar and Shift Spacebar for rotating and zooming in and out, uh, and the, the Control Spacebar for zooming in is still in Photoshop, but rotating you need to hit the R button. So I <laughs> tripped myself up a couple times there, but nothing that I couldn't handle. And then once I completed the first frame, I guess, uh, which is this one, I uh, moved up, to, I uh, jumped over to Krita and I started um, making some variations to the frame. So like the pen, the pen that is moving and the um, also the uh, the eyes that are blinking and I also did the uh, the whiskers on Rooks. They those look a little bit awkward, but uh, I still think it's cute. Uh, it's cute enough. Uh, so yeah, I basically just erased the eyes uh, and then like uh, copied that area and pasted that onto the other layers, uh, onto the other frames, uh, and I um, like traced over it at like a, a, a semi closed eye uh, and then a uh, closed eye so that they were in the same spot uh, and the same size and stuff but still uh, like moving so yeah it's, it's not that difficult <laughs> I, uh, I animated twice before in Krita uh, yesterday actually <laughs> uh, so that, that was really really fun so I, I really wanted to get back to it today uh, so yeah I, I, just, I had so much fun with it because um, I know it's so cool to see your drawings come to life and I've never done it before well I've done it once before but that, that took so long that I never wanted to get back into it again but it's actually not that difficult and it doesn't take that long if you're just doing like sketches and stuff because I uh, I did some sketches of uh, uh, of Tarn and of my avatar uh, and those I got done in like two hours so that was really cool I'll like overlay them on screen because that was so much fun to work on just don't knock me too hard okay this is like my second time trying animation so yeah uh, <laughs> uh, and that first time was years ago so you know um, yeah it's it's so much fun and it looks so cool and I'll definitely be doing more animation in the future because it's actually really really fun and uh, I love seeing my characters like actually move and I can just stare at it stare at it for, for like hours on end it's so much fun and that's why I really like this this like little animated icon in like the corner of my screen I've always loved it when when youtubers have that like Paul has one and uh, sometimes like the old ones out um, and Jaden animations and uh, what's the name of something else YT they uh, they have those two if they do like a drawing video and that's just so much fun to just like look at and uh, it's, it's really just a nice thing to just have in the corner um, so I'm really really excited and, and proud uh, of the animations that I've done and I just can't wait to do more of them so yeah do get ready for some 
new and improved intros and outros coming. Uh, I know I've like revamped them just like a month, a couple months ago, so yeah, that's fine. I just, I, I feel like I can do so much better now, so I want to show what I can actually do uh, and what I'll be showing in regards to artwork uh, on this channel and just, I'm really excited about it. The only thing with this one is that I'm not just, I'm not such a big fan of the whiskers uh, and how they move on rokes, but it's fine. I, you know, I'll, I'll, I can try again some other time. It's just, this is it for now and I really like uh, how it came out. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more art videos every single Friday. Have a great weekend guys and keep on sketching. Bye.